Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. Hey, y'all, I'm going to do a quick educational video here right quick. I get a lot of questions here of how, what's in my roux, how I make my roux, what's in my salt and pepper, how I make my salt and pepper, and so on. So I'm going to do a video here. And when somebody asks, I'm going to refer them back to the video, y'all. I'm going to refer them back to the video. So the first thing I'm going to do here is my roux. Roux, all roux is, like I tell people, 50% flour, 50% melted butter. And you're going to make it so simple, I do it in the microwave. I'm running out of the roux here, so I'm going to do me another another uh, batch of roux. I put my butter in the bowl here, get it melted in the microwave. You can do it in a pot, but why bother uh, messing up a nice, clean pot? We can do it in the microwave, y'all. So I'm going to show you right quick how to do this. I got two sticks of butter, which is one cup. One stick of butter is a half a cup if y'all playing along at home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this butter melted completely. I got a cup of all-purpose flour here. So it's going to be 50-50. Y'all with me? Very simple. Like I said, you can do this in a... You can do this in a pot if you want to, but if you don't have to. And I always have roux. That's two things, essential things I make a big batch of when I do it. I always have roux and I always have a uh, salt and pepper mix when I'm cooking. So, uh, so when it's time to thicken something, I just pull it out the, pull it out and use it. A little bit more, y'all. A little bit more for it now. And the salt and pepper too. Salt and pepper, y'all see I'm running low on here, right here. So it's time to make another batch. And I'm gonna get to that in just a second. We're gonna get the roux made first. Make sure this butter is melted completely. Don't take long at all to do both of these. So, I mean, we not do roux, it's, it, when want to make a big batch of it, because I, if you use roux as much as I do, and cook as much as I do, it's better than having to make roux every time you need it. Okay, I got the butter here. I'm going to move it around here, just to make sure it's good and melted. See that? Y'all can see that. Let me, let me move the camera up a little. Y'all can see what I'm doing here. Because this is so easy and so simple, y'all. Okay. Cup of flour, dump in here. All I'm gonna do, y'all, mix this up. Mix this up right here. Make sure it's really smooth. It's not really smooth, y'all. Now, if I'm making like a gumbo or something like that, of course, I put it on the stove. And uh, put it on the stove and let it get darker okay now I got my bowl here and all I do y'all just put it in my little bowl my bowl right here put it in the refrigerator it can stay in the refrigerator for weeks on weeks and weeks and weeks of course it don't last that long because I use a lot of roux put my top on it I got roux whenever I need it that's done now salt and pepper Okay, this is a funny one here. I always use, I always, when I buy kosher salt, I buy the big boxes. Because I always, uh, I like to use a Martin too. Kosher salt, the reason I've used kosher salt, I've been using kosher salt for over 30 years. It's easier, number one, to pick up when you're putting salt in something. It's easier to pick up. Also, a little goes a long way. Other than aldehydes, aldehydes, how do you say that? Table salt, I call it. This is better. In the food industry, in the kitchens and things like that, big kitchens, we use culture salt. That's what we use. So I'm going to show you. And white pepper, this stuff goes a long way. This stuff is hot. It's 10 times hotter than black pepper, y'all. This stuff here, to me. Maybe not 10 times, but it's way hotter than black pepper, and a little goes a long way. So what I'm going to do, I do a four to one. Four parts of salt to one part of... Uh, white pepper. So what I do, put a cup, two, this is going to be two cups. I'm making a lot as you can see. 
So I'm going to do two cups of, uh, so if I'm doing one cup, that's a quarter of a cup of white pepper. So I'm doing two cups, so that's a half a cup of white pepper I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to fill this two cup up. And I usually, this here usually lasts me about a month of cooking, y'all. You have to do this about once a month. Usually the first of the month I fill my salt, salt and pepper back up. Okay. Now. Now the pepper. This is a cup right here. So I'm going to put a half of, make this a half. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. All right. Now, ooh, that stuff is strong. I hope I don't sneeze. Hold that in there. Matter of fact, let me get a big bowl here and mix it right. So y'all kind of see. And I'm going to make myself sneeze in here. Okay. Put the salt in there. Pepper in there. Take a spoon here. Just mix it up, y'all. Real even in here. <coughs> yeah. I'm trying to not make myself sneeze. <clears throat> ah. so it's very potent. You can use less of salt as you want. Matter of fact, I'm going to use the rest of the salt that's in this box here, y'all. This is a little left in here. I'm going to try to fill up my container. Because I had some already in there. I'll make sure it's even. Because I had some already in there. Okay. That's pretty much it, y'all. Now, salt and white pepper. And what I do, I just pour it back into my container here. Fill it back up. salt. Whenever I need it, I have it. Through salt and white pepper. Very simple. I do this about once a month. Once a month I'll do this. And I'll put it aside. That's why you see when I'm cooking, I'm very organized. I have stuff already ready and ready to go. So let's reiterate. Ooh, I said that in good without screwing up. Roux. 50% of melted butter, 50% of all-purpose flour, Melt the butter, put the flour in it, mix it up till it's smooth. Put it in a container, airtight container. Put it in the refrigerator. Sometimes, if I know I'm doing a lot of cooking that day, I'll leave it out on the counter because it's easier to work with as it comes room temperature. Of course, as you know, butter is better work at room temperature. Salt and pepper, I always keep over here. When I need it, open it up, airtight container. Put a little salt and pepper in there while I, it's running. I always use a uh, airtight container. So. Yeah, very simple, very easy, y'all. Just wanted y'all to know this little video, educational video here, how I make my salt and white pepper, what are the measurements in it, and my rule. So anyway, if you like this little video, please give it a thumbs up, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag this year, help somebody. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.